When Nutmeg and Flores first came aboard, they were a little unsure when we set sail. Now they are my little crew members. Flores is like the captain, she's always watching. And she worries if Nutmeg wanders off if we're docked at the marina. And Nutmeg is the clingy first mate. He's always following Flores around. When it's time to go, they are ready for adventure. But to be honest, I never expected to have cats as my sailing companions. I was coming from a day trip when I saw this tiny kitten. When I looked closer, she was covered in fleas and needed my help. So I brought her back to my boat and nursed her back to health. I had a senior cat at the time, Lido, who I had also rescued. He took her under his wing and helped her adapt to our water home. He was very patient with her kitten energy and let her play however she wanted and made sure to show her all the best places for a nap. She adapted quickly, and the two cats were very close. But that wasn't the end of it. Just as things settled down, I found two more kittens needing my help. I had been riding on the highway in the Philippines and found them. Nutmeg and his brother Marmalade were tiny and covered in fleas. I knew I had to help them and Captain Flores was more than happy to welcome the kittens aboard. Watching them together made me feel honored. I realized I could do more. So I began to foster all sorts of cats around my travels and finding them new homes. Some cats stay longer than others. But Flores and Nutmeg have become permanent members of the crew. Sometimes people get worried about their safety, but I make sure they are all okay with non-slip mats all over the boat and air tags in case they go missing. When the boat is moving, they prefer to sleep or play in the cabin anyways. The boat is their playground and the ocean is their home. I couldn't imagine my life without them.